Hey there gamers, it's just about that time of year again where it's cold, very cold, and there's lots and lots of games. Why are there lots of damn games? Well, I have no idea, because pretty much I think publishers just want to push out lots of garbage around this time of year so that way you play it and you spend all your money. But we're actually going to narrow that down a little bit. Here at Video Game Central on the Gamer's Voice, Old School Fool is going to show you guys what you should be playing this holiday season. Uh, we're going to show you... A probably some of the top games from this year and some of the top accessories that you guys should be playing and you should be spending your uh, your money on because uh, technically this is what MoneySoft, <coughs> I mean uh, Microsoft has in store for you guys so let's take a look and circle back 360 Ty, good to see you what are we looking at? Right, the first title on our list is Gears of War 2 now, Gears of War 2 is a follow-up to Microsoft's staple 360 title, Gears of War. Now, Gears of War 2 follows suit as Marcus, Phoenix, and the rest of the Delta Squad as you pretty much wreak havoc on this dreaded Locust Horde. I mean, these, these creatures called Locusts are just really uh, abysmal looking in the face, and it's a great great thing to use your, your Lancer Chainsaw, Pulse Rifle, and Long Distance Bombs, just to name a few options, uh, to rid the galaxy of these uh, disgusting looking menace. They grunt and growl through the entire game. Now, Gears of War 2, with its interactive backgrounds uh, that actually affect the gameplay, massive online challenges, and, and tons and tons of unlockables, uh, Gears of War 2 really is a 360 necessity, especially for people who are into first and third person shooters. So, Gears of War 2 will des definitely not disappoint. Right, next up on the preview scale is Fallout 3. Uh, Fallout 3 is a serious follow-up to Fallout 2. This is season of the sequel, people. Um, this is a real-time role-playing game, RPG, that features the freedom to explore everything where you want to and when you want to do it. Fallout 3 is taking, is taking place 200 years after a nuclear holocaust in the U.S. And then Fallout 3 now places you in an immersive, choose-your-own-adventure feel with tons of diverse adventure that lurks at every corner with alternative outcomes depending on how you play the game. Now, you can choose your path, choose your destiny, and it's a surreal experience for survival, and we suggest Fallout 3 for the Xbox 360. And next on our list is GTA 4, and if you guys don't know what that stands for, that's Grand Theft Auto 4. Now, if you're any type of gamer in the past 10 years, then the Grand Theft Auto series is one that has crossed your ears probably at least 100 plus times by now. Now, Grand Theft Auto is the latest installment of the series that features Nico Bellic, a lowly immigrant looking to start his so-called new life in Liberty City, and kind of lie low while filling these so-called odd jobs for his cousin Roman. Now, uh, Liberty City is a virtual mock-up of New York City uh, made by Rockstar, which features all real-life interactions while you're playing as Nico, dealing with the good times, the bad times, and of course, the crime times. And that's what this game's all about. It's about the crime time. So next up on our list is definitely GTA 4. Check that one out today. Right next on our list is Fable 2. Now Fable 2 is an Xbox 360 Microsoft Studios exclusive. Now Fable 2 puts you in the part of a real-time action RPG. Now what a real-time action RPG is, is meaning you get to fully traverse a 3D world, so there's no real menus or turn-based strategy style gameplay, it's a full 3D world. And in this world, you start off as a young kid, girl or boy, it's your choice, and depending on your decisions you make along the way, they mature you into a version that reflects the actions that you are making throughout the game. So this is your story, this becomes your story, your fable. Next on the list, 360, is Turok. Turok was originally made for the Nintendo 64 and was developed originally as a first-person action-adventure game for the 64 well over 10 years ago. Now, Turok is a next-generation remake for the 360. Now, in this version of Turok, you play as, again, Turok, a space marine this time, with a bad attitude that finds out that just maybe this will be his last mission. Now, this first-person shooter features crisp 3D gameplay with an always cool concept of being able to slice, dice, and make dead lots and lots of Jurassic dinosaurs. The game's visuals alone are just incredible to see. So combined with first-person action and a 3D walk-around destruction, this game is guaranteed to satisfy your delights for dino-dealing destruction. Up next, we have the Ninja Gaiden 2 for the Xbox 360. Now, Ryuhabasa is from the famed Nintendo series, 
uh, from back from the 85, 89 era, and this key returns in the sequel from the original Xbox remake, Ninja Gaiden. So Ninja Gaiden 2 builds up on top of the last game engine with full 3D action adventure gameplay. Now this is some intense sword to hand group combat. This game is not for the squeamish, as Ninja Gaiden 2 offers up a substantial amount of beat em up hack and slash action that definitely will challenge even the toughest veteran gamer. Ninja Gaiden 2 will entertain for hours and with perhaps a few busted thumbs and a will to survive. And how can we miss the next title on our list, Midnight Club LA. Now Midnight Club LA is brought to you by Rockstar, the makers of Grand Theft Auto. And this is a full featured racing game that offers full car customization and free roaming drive anywhere scenarios that of course takes place on the streets of LA. I mean hey it's called LA Midnight Club. So this game features tons of online gameplay where you can race other custom cars that you make or race it against out against motorcycles and even pink slips. With top notch graphics, a great soundtrack, Midnight Club LA is a definite must have for racing fans today. Last but not least on our list, 360, is Banjo's Kazooie's Nuts and Bolts, a sequel to the title Banjo and Kazooie made by Rare, once again of Nintendo 64 fame. Now, you are in control of Banjo the Bear and, of course, Kazooie, your faithful bird friend in your backpack. Now, in this unique Tag Team 3D action platform title that features the ability to make vehicles in order to continue on through the immense 3D worlds that this game has to offer. Now this is a total lovable, fun-filled, family-rated game that everyone will enjoy. Not just you, the gamer, but absolutely everyone. Alright gamers, so that's pretty much what we got in store for this holiday season. Now whether you have an Xbox 360 already or you're just getting one, there's also a few extra accessories that we show you guys that you're probably going to need in your uh, gaming escapades through the holiday. Now uh, the Soul Calibur 4 stick, I don't know if you've seen it, but the Hori EX stick pretty much, it's just Soul Calibur branded. If you want that arcade feel and you don't really have times for excuses and just time for wins, then a Hori EX Soul Calibur 4 stick will be for you. And of course, if you're going to play online, you're always going to need more live points. Yes, you can never have enough live points because unlike the PlayStation Network, you're going to need to buy these cards in order to get online and get some cool action gaming going on. And of course, another really cool product, if you guys haven't seen it before, is the Export. Now, you know, if you have a 20 gig lead hard drive, um, it's a little bigger, but still, once again, that stuff gets filled up really, really fast. And if you want to transfer all your saves to your unlimited space hard drive on your PC, this is what you need. Made by Daytel, Export and XSATA is a total solution for you to back up all your stuff on your 360 because, hey, you never really know when it can blow. Alright, so, and of course, last but not least, but if you want to talk trash to me or to anybody here at the Gamer's Voice and Video Game Central, you're going to need a messenger kit. A messenger kit is the 360 official messenger kit, comes with a QWERTY keyboard and a headset. So now you can talk to everybody, type real fast, and just focus on your game. So that's pretty much about it, folks. I'm Old School Fool, and hopefully you're going to have a really fun, fun, competitive holiday.